people staring at me like they never seen duct tape before. Come on.
I'll show you guys what this looks like. If this is still on, that is.
laying in the snow and slipping and sliding. What do you think? I don't know. It was fun. <laughs> A little scary, but fun, huh? Yeah. I'll get used to it. Gotta get my winter driving back. It's the first, first real snowfall we've had, so. We did better than Pap Pap, though. Yeah, so this is my winter winterization kit. This hooks up inside there. So you cannot see through that, but that was my intention. And this is not duct tape, even though it looks a lot like duct tape. It's not, is it? <laughs> yeah, see? Didn't use it. It's still right there. It may not look super classy, but it's really warm in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It cuts like, I'm going to say like 90% of the wind. There's still a little bit in there, but it's not cold at all. I'm like, it's only like 18 or 20 degrees right now. So I didn't think it was that bad riding in there at all. I didn't even have to wear gloves really. I just wore these little thin ones. Cause you stole my big one. Kitty kitty. All right. Yeah. So we're definitely pumped to do some snow riding soon. Um, Maybe tomorrow, we'll see how it goes. But I gotta figure out what that light is and what's going on there. I think it's fuel related. I, at first I thought it was the belt tank light, but I, it's not, it's not. So I don't know, I'm gonna look that up. If you know, drop a comment, let me know what that is. Um, surely one of you guys know. If not, I'll Google it, figure it out. I got an owner's manual somewhere. You can look it up. You can't read either. <laughs> But yeah, Max, kitty, 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 kitty. Take us out, buddy. Say, so see you next time. Let's go inside. All right, so here's what, here's the, here's the skin. You turn your key on, then you wait. That light's going to start flashing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, pause, one, pause, one, two, three, four. Seven pause, and then four pause, and then it's going to do it over again. So that ten is zero, so that's zero, one, seven, four is the code that's flashing. So... I looked online a little bit, I'll put some pictures in, but from what I found out, it's just a general lean condition code. All right, so we just went, just got back from the parts store. This is the old filter. And like I said, it wasn't like this until I took it off incorrectly, I guess. It's kind of a pain, it was cold, I was in a hurry. So we went to the parts store, I got this. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bigger, but I think it'll, it'll still work, obviously, it's the same style. Um, this was like $7. It, come with, it comes with these clamps. I don't like these clamps, so I went ahead and bought some. I just trust them better. I don't, I don't really like these pinch clamps. I feel like they're kind of hard to get to seal good, but... This will fit in there, obviously, and then we'll just put these clamps on. And we got the VP Mattative Fuel System Cleaner with RP21. I don't know what that is, but I always run. I always try to run VP additives. Um, I just feel like that's a pretty trusted brand. So yeah, basically, I'm just gonna slap this back in, clamp it up. This uh, original fastener thing here obviously won't work because it's a bigger diameter. So we'll just probably zip tie it in place, clamp it up. Yeah, so we'll get that done. And then we're gonna, after that, we're gonna put some additive in it. And then we're running up the road to the gas station, top it off with high test and 
we'll kind of take it easy on the way up and then on the way back we'll, we'll see if she she's uh winding out good and let's look at my little duct tape winter kit in the daytime i should have left it in the dark i think look better looks better in the dark i know but so, gotta stay warm man gotta stay warm it's like I don't know what, I think it's only like 20 degrees again today. Maybe even less than that. Definitely less than that with the wind chill. But it looks sunny and nice out. But it's cold. It's it's cold. So, but yeah. That's what's up. Duct tape. Duct tape wind resistant. And it's orange. That's right. Because we sprung for the extra orange duct tape. Whatever, dude. It's cold, okay? So here we go. Let's get this, this clamped up and get up the road and see how she does. Yeah, so we got it in. It does have an in and an out. So just make sure you put your in on your gas tank line. You're out, obviously, for your injector line. But that's pretty much it. We'll put the, the air box cover back on to cover it all up. And then now we're going to dump a little bit of this in. It says... One tank treatment up to 20 gallons. I'm guessing that's obviously for your car, not a side by side. So we're gonna dump, I don't know, probably like half of it in. This might not even be necessary. It's just a, uh, yeah, that's about half. So we'll save that. And uh, yeah, then now we're gonna run it. Oh, I gotta put this cover back on. Then we're gonna run it up the road and top it off with high test and then we'll see if she's back to life, full life. God, it's gone. I put this scoop on. Um, I made sure all the seals were tight and everything, so. And now it's doing it a lot more. So I'm thinking that because I put this into the wind and it's catching wind, it's obviously a lot more air and the computer just can't dump enough fuel in to compensate so at high rpm it's it's too lean it's not getting enough fuel um it'll rev up fine in neutral and park low range is not it might kind of do it sometimes but high range it's definitely noticeable which makes sense because in high range i'm going faster so that's more wind so i'm thinking to try to fix it I'm just gonna basically take this off, turn it so it's facing backwards, and mount it back here where the original one was. Well, the first prototype. So still adjusting it, but everything else is good. So we're gonna swap that, do a little run, see what, see what that does. Hopefully it takes care of it. And if not 100% take care of it, I'm hoping that when I get the tuned ECU from RNG Performance. That will that will help it. If not, then we might have to change the intake a little bit more to kind of kind of more constrict the airflow, cut it down a little bit. It's a it's a it's a fine line between enough for peak power and too too lean of a condition so and lean condition's not good that's harder on everything rich rich is usually safe it won't run as good but lean is more damaging internally so i don't think it's enough to be worried about that but i want to you can't go wide open and that's my, that's the only way i drive so all right yeah we're gonna spin that around change it up a little and i'll get back with you Okay, so that's it. Basically, pretty quick fix. We had it turn facing the wind. Now it's turned around backwards. Two dust covers on to kind of just help restrict it a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. And I can't lie. I put in a call to everybody's favorite redneck when it comes to CF Moto. And sorry for bugging you, man. I, but I do appreciate it. And he agrees. It's probably because I should have just left it the hell alone in the first place. But, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, he agrees it, it could just be a matter of too much wind and not enough compensation. I don't know. The next thing would be, I guess, fuel pump. 
put a test on it and see if it's building enough pressure. I know they do just decide to go bad sometimes, so maybe that's what's up, but it's only in high range, pretty much only in high range at wide open throttle, so I don't think it's a fuel pump so it would be consistent uh, in low and high at least. But, so, yeah, it's turned around now. we got two dust covers on it, so that should... It's not really going to constrict it that much, but should cut it down a little. And plus, now we're not forcing air into it, so... We'll rip it off the road and see what it does. Hopefully that takes care of it. lights back on but we made it and it's not missing like it was yeah. so maybe still lean for the computer but a little bit lean is that's where you get your more power from but too lean obviously you're starving for fuel and killing power but i think we got a good figured out good now so let's get some gas and i don't know probably a monster red bull what do you want Diet water. GoPro, stop recording. Alright. It didn't quite fill it, but it was full. So. Full gas, cow tails, and monster. So. Once we get over here off the main road, I'll let you drive. Okay?
Again, I can't thank you enough for RNG performance. I appreciate it. Stoked to meet you in Turks and Ranches. Get this son of a gun. All she can do. That's it. We're just going to cruise home. Let Lily drive us in. And, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.